good with it in the hood with it welcome back to the collective clips where you already know we get it in but before we get it in let's hit that like and subscribe button thing put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content i'm kicking and i highly appreciate all the support man we're going up on this channel and it's all because of you and for that i'm humbled and man i appreciate it thank you guys so much so adam's world strikes again right no jumper Ooh wee. I don't know how many times I have to tell you, but that wood right there, brother, doesn't like coffee. And that was my first indicator right there, my first red flag, letting me know, mm -mm, I can't fool with that guy, right? That guy's on some different shit, right? What just happened? Well, what tends to happen when people go on No Jumper, or they go on these bigger platforms, and they start talking about shit? Well, they get recognized. Not only do they get recognized in clout, for the achievements within the rap game or the street game, but also any type of secrets or anything you have in the closet that you're not trying to expose, <laughs> well, it pretty much exposes itself because you get asked questions that put you in a situation where you feel like protected in that area at that point in time. But everybody's watching. The world is watching. And in this case, a rapper 757, uh, what's his name? B.A., right, from Chicago, decided to go on no jumper which there's no fault in that if that's the route he wants to take if he wants to go to adam's world man by a cuckold and be asked questions do your thing right but at the same time you need to understand that some of these questions that are asked bring out old stories and things that you might not want put out there and they draw the attention of not only eager listeners that want to be entertained by what you have to say but also the authorities, law enforcement, right? If you guys have bumped your heads and not thought that law enforcement's not watching the social media platforms, then then you're tomfoolery, right? You're a fool because everybody's watching, you know? And this would be the perfect example of authorities watching and this guy said a little too much and he was recognized for his involvement in a crime allegedly that he had done prior to being on No Jumper. Now you can't necessarily blame Adam because Adam is just being Adam. He's trying to get the views. He's trying to maintain. He's trying to bring whoever he can on, you know, uh, to build his platform. That's facts. That's just the way it is. You know, I've always told people without no hatred or no envy or no, nothing like that in my heart. You know, when you choose to go on these bigger platforms and speak, you're speaking shit into existence. Things that you not necessarily want put out there. You're you're rehashing shit. And a lot of these questions, and you got to understand, a lot of these interviewers do their homework prior to you coming on. They'd be a fool and they wouldn't be doing their job right if they just brought any old motherfucking cluck off the streets on and let him just run his neck piece. A lot of these guys do their homework. So they know who you're affiliated with. They know your history. They know your past. They know a lot of the crime that you've been associated with or alleged to have done and you notice how people like Vlad and Adam like to start getting into the street element of things. Now, most of these fucking platforms were started to help people uplift and build their resume as far as not street shit, but the industry, what they're doing in the rap game, comedians, actors, things like that. But somewhere along the lines, just like in life, it took a cold twist. And these platforms have now become prison genre platforms, gang related platforms. So scared to try to fucking step on my toes, right? These guys now want to ask questions about what dirt you did, why you got involved in gangs, why were you in that shooting on fucking this street at approximately 3.03 p.m. on Saturday evening, right? Questions that you would only get asked in an interrogation room. Now, most people that are gamed up, they're educated and seasoned, they already know, I ain't going to speak on that, right? This scoop on me, right? You ain't got nothing to say. But a lot of these guys, they feel like their street credibility, their credibility within the industry and the rap game is all that is going to fucking reflect, you know, and make them look cool. So they start speaking on shit they shouldn't. And this guy's fucking instance, the Chicago rapper, whatever he said or didn't say on No Jumper could have been the reason why he was incarcerated and picked up just days after for several attempted murders and murders and things of that nature. He's got like six attempted murders on his jacket. Okay, now, first and foremost, when I was on the run for cases back in the days, I try to keep my shit low, low rider, slow and low. I try to go to places when the sun settled, 
Okay, on sundown time. I was on sundown time. When the sun went down, I woke up. Okay, I was not out there wiggling in the streets in the daylight because there's a lot of people. But, yeah. Yeah, that, hey, that one dude that's in the newspaper? Yeah, for beating that dude up? <laughs> yeah, he's right here, eh? Yeah, how do I know? Well, it's because when he walks this way, his dick goes that way. And they said that when they described him, they said he was big from the bottom. Yep, it's him. His name's Gunner, right? So, People will put you out there. So the best thing to do is to wiggle smooth with a purpose undercover, right? Because you're not trying to get locked up. That's what being on the run is. Getting away from the issue. Knowing damn well you're going to have to deal with that issue sooner or later, but trying to maintain. And most people that are smart that go on the run, you either do one or two things. Either you're a fucking cluck and you get all spaced out and start doing more and more crime and digging your hole deeper. Or you do like I did and those that were around me and we try to stack as much fatty, as much money as we can have because we know we're going to prison. And we're trying to be as comfortable and as, get as many sopas as we can while incarcerated. So the best thing to do is stack your chips, get put your kids in position, your family in position to maintain while you're locked up. And then, of course, either turn yourself in or get caught on your own accord. However it goes, um, that's what real ones do. You stack. You stack your grit. Get as many mom ones as you can. And unless you go in there and you bat for the other team, P. Diddy, that's on you. If you're on your Meek Mill shit and you want to go in there and get the Meek Mickleization on, go, right? But if you're like me, you just stack your money, go in there, maintain. And believe me, I have, I get a, plenty of tortas. I have an abundance. Jamon and whatever else. Cabeza. Now, this guy gets arrested and people are blaming No Jumper. Like Adam did something wrong. I'm not an advocate for Adam whatsoever. We know on my channel, I don't promote his his frivolous ways, his tactics, his antics, his cuckoldness, right? But I will say this, you can't blame that man for having someone on, online that fucking chooses to go on there. Every man makes a choice in life. If you choose on the run to put yourself on a fucking podcast that show, that's seen by millions daily, um, then you're going to get what you got coming. Now, this guy was either recognized by a victim or he was recognized by law enforcement Somewhere along the line, he said something or did a little too much and was recognized. Okay, and that's all it took and that's all it takes. You know, I see Vlad TV, I see Adam constantly get called the feds. They're on their police shit. And I don't necessarily think that's true. I think they ask some very mysterious questions. They ask questions they shouldn't be asking. But again, once you choose to go on that platform, you're not signing an NDA. There's no, it's not a no disclosure uh, contract. You're going on there and you're spilling the beans, eh? Whatever you do, Adam could sit back and say, you did that. You said that. Now, there's plenty of guys that think that these platforms are going to gain them some type of clout or get them well known. And I see so many people screaming, oh, no, Jumper, please help me. Help me, right? Um, help you do what? Because most guys, it seems that are going on there now, it's just a lot of drama, a lot of hectic shit going on, and your ship sinks shortly after. This ain't fucking one-eyed willy, homes. There's not a treasure at the end. There's a sinking ship, Titanic style. Orale, Leonardo DiCaprio. And that's what it is. You're going to be shaking in the water. And Adam ain't going to reach his hand out to pull you out. Did he do it for C-Mac? <laughs> oh, I'm 55th, cuz. His ship sank and sailed, and he wasn't nowhere in sight. Okay, so at the end of the day, you need to understand... You can't blame that man, though, for allowing you to be on his platform. You said what you said. Now, in the community, when, when you're a gangster or you're doing criminal activities and you got, and you're a real one, you're really out there smoking people or murking people. Or, and I don't say real one in like, oh, he's a good person. I say real one and he's like really doing some real shit, right? Why would you put yourself out there like that? You can't live two lives. You can't serve two masters. You can't be a rapper and trying to promote your shit, yet you're on the run for several attempted murders. You need to understand and know the game. And the game is the gangster lifestyle don't mix with the motherfucking rap lifestyle. You could, you could thrive and live off the gang clout and, and, and rap about it and talk about it. But most of these gangster rappers ain't really gangsters. Not Ice Cubes, not Dr. Dre's, not none of them cats. They ain't really living that life because if they were living that life, they'd be right there where C-Murder is locked up. Okay, the ones that are really about that wiggleization, they're incarcerated. So they know enough to say a little bit about this, but not a lot of about this, if you understand what I'm saying. This guy was really in the streets like that, so why would he go try to promote his music and, and promote his lifestyle when he knows he's on the run? 
It's a tricky situation. But for those that are blaming Adam 22, saying that, or <clears throat> excuse me, my bad, Adam 16, for those that are blaming him and saying that it's his fault that this guy got locked up, it's not. I'm going to be, believe me, I'd be the first to tell you, fuck him. But it's not his fault. This guy just, it's a coincidence, again, that he just happened to go on his platform and get locked up. I mean, they weren't blaming Joe Rogan when Joe Rogan had a guest on that had a fucking head in his refrigerator. They weren't saying, oh, it's because of Joe Rogan that, no, that dude did what he wanted to do. Every man is fucking responsible for his own responsibilities. Every man is responsible for his own ways and what he does. He just happened to go on a platform and put himself out there. Now, with the Joe Rogan case, it's a little bit different because this was just crazy, right? We No one knew. Um, but with this, people are saying that, you know, Adam seems to be dipping into that gang life just a little bit too much. And now guys are starting to get caught up around him. I mean, Keefy D did it off Vlad. Now this guy, Mr. B.A., did it off fucking uh, Adam's channel. You know, and it's not the interviewer's fault. It's not like they set him up. I can feel it coming in the air. It wasn't a Phil Collins song, okay? He didn't bring him there and then call the authorities on him. Now, that would be a whole different thing. Um, and then we'd be making a lot of money off a lot of content, right? But what it is here is just a coincidence and it's this guy's fault. Ultimately, he chose to go on No Jumper knowing damn well he had all this in his closet, all this in the cuts. Now, I've told people a long time ago, separate the bullshit from the real shit. Okay, if you're really out there in the streets, and, and someone asked me the other day, hey, Gun, if you were still active, if you were in the mix, Holmes, what do you think about all this YouTube shit? If I was still active and in the mix, I wouldn't even know what YouTube was, bro. To be totally honest with you, the type of individuals that I fucked with and I kicked back with, we didn't have time for social media. When a homeboy made a moco space back in the days, he was like, hey, bro, I got a moco space. There's a gang of tortas. Shit, look at look around. Homes. There's a gang of tortas right here. They're jocking us. All you got to do is pull out a gun and wave your dick around, and they're coming, right? We didn't know anything about social media. When you're really gangbanging, you're really in that life, you don't have time for social media. You don't have time for all that. See, the era and the attitude that we live in now, right, is everybody wants to be recognized by the look. They want to look like a gangster, but they don't really want to do gangster shit. Everyone's solid till they get sucked in the mouth. Can no Tyson? Jake's going to find out. Everybody thinks they're that one until it really becomes that time to show that you're that one. I'm not that one. <laughs> I don't want to be that one. I was that one at one point in time because I chose to be. And I would never have been on social media or, or watching YouTube uh, content or shorts or TikTok dancing. And that would have never happened because I would have never integrated fucking entertainment with real life. Real life came first. Okay. Gang banging, maintaining for the barrio and the hood and for the people and the cause was my first and, and foremost priority. Okay. But I'm no longer involved in that life. So I can do whatever the fuck it is I choose to do, but I know better what to say and what not to say in certain situations. Now, a lot of these guys that go on these platforms like No Jumper, Black TV, and all these other platforms, some of them don't know when to shut the fuck up and draw the line. Some of them don't understand that just their presence on these social media platforms can cause a wreck for them. So now what happens? Let me explain. This guy's locked up. So that there are no return. When you got six attempted murder city in Chicago, shit happens every day. He's looking at some time. That's the highlight of his life being on No Jumper. Wow. By a guy who lets fucking his wife fuck every black dude in Chicago, right? That's the highlight of his life. And Adam's going to continue to make money even more so now because he's going to be like, hey, guess what? That guy got locked up. Wow. He was a real one. And drop short after short after short and get all kinds of dough. So he's making money while this guy's in there losing it. Make that make sense. You can't because at the end of the day, it is it is just what it is. But you can't again blame Adam or none of these guys who, pr who present these podcasts because ultimately everybody has a choice whether to go on it or not. That's like the other day, Lazy Boy, they say the first Northanio ever to be on, on No Jumper. And a lot of people were talking shit and some people were like, wow, that's cool. And, you know, um, he's opening doors. And, and I felt like this about it. And I've mentioned it in a lot of my content. It's a great thing that people are finally getting that look. They're finally getting recognized for the fucking, uh, 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 for the attributes you've put into your work. You know, I recognized him for the way 
Um, his music finally elevated him into a position that other people could know. And he's not just put in a caja in a box. That's a great, good thing and a great thing. And I watched the interview, the whole interview. Yes, I did, Adam. There you go. Bing, bing. You won, right? I watched the whole interview and that guy knew what to say and what not to say. I think he only was baited by Adam one time when he talked about the Southerners, the Southern uh, Rasa rappers trying to be like the Northern rappers. I don't think he should have ever said that. But hey, you know, everybody slips up. Not everybody... Um, can grip their lock on their muzzle like that. And it just is what it is. He wasn't disrespectful, didn't go down there with them intentions, and just Adam is good at what he does. He was able to bait him. And believe me, he was trying to bait him on a whole bunch of shit. You got to understand that people like Adam and all these other different uh, platforms, these guys want to hear the dirty stuff, the gritty stuff, the grimy stuff, the shit out the mud. They don't want to hear the clean, positive stuff. That ain't going to do none for them. Do you ever see him bringing on a Christian rapper on there? To talk about how he changed his life and how everything is good in the hood. Now, fuck no. He brings on the Chicago drill rapper that has six bodies and starts saying, so where were you at on Sunday night? Right? Think about it. You have to think about it. People are entertained by the bullshit. They're not entertained by the good shit. If it was like that, all of us would be carrying Bibles around now wearing glasses. You know, reciting the fucking Our Father. It's just not that way. It's not the way it goes. Um, again, another thing is uh, Mr. Culture... You know, Adam, that says he's from that culture, the street culture. There is no fucking street culture. There's fucking the black culture. There's the brown culture. There's the wood culture. And our culture involves coffee, brother. There's that culture. But there is no street culture. That is some made up shit. That is some bullshit. Ain't no fucking street culture. I'm from the street culture. Is that right? Well, fix the potholes, bitch. That's it. That culture. Okay, fix that. So when I'm riding my motherfucking whip, you don't pop my fucking low profiles. That's all I know. That's why I pay taxes. I'm just saying it's a cold, unfortunate situation that this rapper is caught up, but he's not caught up because he went on no jumper. And Adam didn't strike again, even though the thumbnail says that that's for content purposes. Um, but it is funny how more the more people that are going on these platforms are getting caught up right after. Okay, this is a lesson for a lot of other people. Hey, if you're just trying to promote your music, promote your mentality, promote something good and positive, do your thing, man. Help help Adam to help you. Help everybody to win. But if you're going on here to play a role and act tough and smoke a blunt and look cool and do the G-Face thing and fucking smoke cigarette after cigarette, fucking shake and fucking show fucking whack 100 your paperwork, let me tell you what's going to happen. You're already exposed. You're exposing yourself by your mannerisms, by the way you shake, by the way you act. And don't no one believe you. They're laughing at you, not with you, homie. Straight up. And when it comes to law enforcement, best believe, homies, that they got people sitting down right now. We've been watching this one. I don't want no issues. I'm legit. No warrants, no nada. Bang, bang. That's just how it is. That's why I wouldn't put myself in a position. People ask me, gun, would you go on a jumper? Would you go on this? Why? So this about the could try to start try to start digging into my past and finding out about some crimes that I don't even know what he's talking about type shit. I'm cool. I don't need that in my life. Okay, fuck that. All I need to do is is, is stay Mexican. That's it. And I'm gonna do it in that fashion and work hard for my children and maintain the Lord got me. That's all I need. Like Ryan Garcia. Now, when it comes to this other guy, he's going to sit down, Adam's going to make money, and the beat's going to go on. And there's going to be another Bob also that goes on the channel and says a little too much and gets locked up as well. It's unfortunate that's the way it happens. I implore to the brothers, to the raza, to the woods, man, that go on these channels, watch what you say, homes, and how you do it. Because it's going to be a definite uh, a situation where you can find yourself caught up. You know, think about it. And I'm not putting the hate on Adam because it, it wasn't his fault, okay? It really wasn't. It's his fault that black guys fuck his old lady. That's his fault. You know, he was, he's not doing enough to keep her in tow. But as far as anything else, I can't blame that man for that. You got to blame yourself. You got to hold yourself accountable for the situations and the acts that you put yourself into. Anyways, with that being said, I just wanted to put it out there. It's a little bit of a breaking news, man. I seen it happen. And I was like, wow, he struck again, huh? Keefe D situations. Allowing these dudes to go on your platforms and talk shit. Did you see that one skinny Joey Merlino? He's like allegedly a Philadelphia mafia boss, they say. I'm not going to say he's that. Um, and Vlad was trying to ask him questions, and that motherfucker was like, that was a whole interview of fuck you, right? He was like, nope, what is that? Can't call it. I plead the fifth. I don't fucking know. Fucking rat, right? He was fucking, he conducted himself the way he was supposed to because at the end of the day, he understands 
that not only will his people look at him some type of way for speaking on situations he shouldn't, but also at the end of the day, man, he's going to be the one that has to face them consequences. Not Adam, not Vlad, not none of these guys. They're going to continue to make money off their platforms and bait people into doing that. With that just being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming, man. I hope that this guy that's facing all these charges um, has learned a lesson here. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say, I hope he gets out and everything because there's victims involved here. Victims, families. And that's a disrespect to them. I don't know the whole get down. All I know, man, is he got caught up. This motherfucker went on a social media platform with warrants. <laughs> that's gangster. <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I honestly, truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people, man. Let's make some shit happen. Bang, bang.